I, I said going into the game, didn't have a great idea about how they were going to play us because they you know, hadn't really seen them, this coordinator against our type of offense. I thought, you know, we learned a lot as the game went on, and I thought we settled in, and I thought that showed. How has uh, David Santos reacted to this situation? What have you seen? Uh, I think he's, you know, you hope he responds the right way. Uh, he has up to this point. He knew that uh, what the stakes were during the week in practice, and um, he, he's a prideful kid. He, believe me, David's going to play a lot of football for us. But uh, um, when you when you when you're in a situation like you are, it's all it's it's how do you respond? And, and uh, I would fully anticipate that he that he responds the right way because I, I know David and we know how what kind of competitor he is. He wants to be out to a battle. How do you think uh, Tommy Armstrong did? Sure, okay, Tommy played well. I thought Ronnie Kellogg did some good things. You know, he had one, the one throw. I know Ronnie was disappointed that he missed and, and he played back. But I thought overall, I thought he did well. I thought, um, you know, across the board, I think you know, I, we show that we have depth on this football team. And I thought that, um, I thought there were a number of guys, a lot of the, you know, we call them backups, but to me they're just in the rotation. I thought everybody, did a lot of good things, but uh, I'm sure we see the film and across the board. You know, that everyone who played in that game is going to have a lot of things they need to get cleaned up. Or just to get our rhythm going and our offense, well, it's kind of hard to start off at the one every time we had the first series, but I think after that we kind of got our rhythm going. And so I think we did a pretty good job up front for our offense. Stanley makes that play just to play the outside of the game. Yeah, it was a huge boost. Just knowing that our defense is came ready to play today, and we see it in practice. Stanley picking up balls like that, and our defense playing like that against us. Uh, I'm happy to see that they actually came out there today and actually played like that. So I'm really happy for Stanley, and I think every everybody on the defense did pretty good, and, and I think a few true freshmen started also, so I think they did pretty good. Hey Taylor, what, uh, what was it like last week with the defensive guys? Did they look like they were on a mission after giving up a few yards against Wyoming? Yeah, I think them and Coach Planey and the rest of the staff was on a mission just knowing that that uh, they don't play a defense like that and give up all those yards, and I'm glad that he came out today and had all those turnovers and helped us out a lot. And, I think our offense kind of rolled on from there once they got that first hit. You guys opened it up a little bit more today with the passing game. Mm -hmm. Did you have an idea at the end of the week that you guys were going to try to stretch it a little bit more than last week? Um, a little bit, but not really. Just based on the game plan, you can't really tell what a team's going to do to you during the week. So once the game plan, or once we started playing today, I think you could kind of tell if we're going to go deep or short. So I think they were trying to cheat their corners in. A little bit far short stuff, so I think that's why some deep stuff opened up. But other than that, it's just based on what we see out on the field. When in the running game, you know, it looked like you guys adjusted about mid second fourth. What, what did you see their defense doing, and how did you guys take advantage of that? Um, I think it's more on Coach Beck, what he saw up top, and what plays to call. I think once you start, it's hard to tell what a defense is doing on uh, the one yard line. So I think after the second series, we went down and scored. So I think once Beck's all that, he started getting in a rhythm with our offense. And so I think that had a lot to do with it. How do you think the uh, degree of difficulty changes now going against UCLA next week? We just got to go out there and play our game. Just if we keep doing what we're doing, I think we'll be fine. And hopefully our defense got a huge confidence boost from this. So I'm really happy for our defense and hopefully they play all this. Next that will pay back for UCLA? Is that kind of the mindset you guys have Yeah, so I, that's what Coach Pliny just said in the locker room. So hopefully we come out there with a win and just got to take this game like it's any other game. So you just can't back like it's UCLA. We lost to him last, last year, so it's got to take it. Just like the game. Taylor, do you think the team grew up or matured a little bit this week maybe? Yeah, I think they did. I think last week was a huge shocking. And uh, just knowing that, we really didn't come to play. Maybe we thought we could just come come in and just roll over on the team, which we did, and we kind of let them back in the game late in, late in the fourth. And I think today we actually did a really good job of finishing the game. So I'm very happy about that, and just hopefully going into UCLA we just keeps this moment going. Taylor, you're a little bit over 70% these first two games. Are you are you seeing things well? Are you feel good with your accuracy right now? Um, I'm just going out there and just playing the game, and the receivers and tight ends and. 
just the offense line, they're doing a great job just blocking up front and the receiver just making plays and catching the football. So it's not really based on me, it's just right based on the people around me. Taylor, are you happy with some of the young wideouts that got into the game? You were able to get them a couple touches today. Yeah, I'm with Birch coming in the game. Last week I threw the pick to him, so I'm glad I got to come back and throw the touchdown pass to him. So I'm glad that he got open and I was able to get him football. Um, it's hard to say. I haven't really thought very much about the game yet, so just we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's Ethan Carter there. Just kind of get too excited. Yeah, um, I think that was the first time I've ever seen a receiver so open in a game before. So I don't know. I thought I can't even tell you. I tried to barely throw to him, but obviously I threw a little bit too far. Anything else for Taylor? I'm glad that you don't have to get hit by running yeah, I knew from the first moment I saw him that he was going to be a special player uh, for us. So I'm really happy he's on our team, and I can't. I'm just really happy he's with our team. Uh, we were just stretching, uh, and uh, Coach Ellis came by and said, "You're with the ones," and I kind of dropped a load in my pants, but uh, <laughs> so I, was, uh, I was kind of excited. How do you think he did? I think I did pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I always say be our biggest critic, so you know we gotta. I gotta go back and, and listen to the coaching and watch the film and just get ready for UCLA now. How important was it, do you think, for you guys to bounce back in the fashion that you did, considering you got UCLA next? I think it's uh, extremely important. You know, last week uh, wasn't up to our standards, and uh, everybody on the team knew it. So uh, we really just wanted to prove to ourselves what we could really do, and. Uh, that we can be a dominant team. They did some of the same stuff in Wyoming, but it seemed like you guys covered that somewhere. Uh, just game planning. You know, we got uh, two great defensive uh, you know, masterminds that are coaching us, and then the rest of the defensive staff, I mean, they know what they're doing, and they simplify it down a little bit, and it ends up working for us. Personally, where do you think you're at with maybe your pick up at the speed of the game thus far, two games in the game? Um, I'm still learning, but as far as the speed of the game, uh, I think I got it, got it pretty much underhand. But the the most speed and the most change from high school is before the snap. It's it's in the film room and it's knowing what to do on every snap. You know, during during the actual play, it's just you know going out and playing football like like we have forever. Excited, happy, just kind of on a high on another level. Just but uh, you know my legs weren't shaking and I wasn't about ready to throw up. It was just a uh, just kind of a happy uh, mood to me. How fast has this all come for you, though, to be this role already in Pretty fast. You know, it's kind of what I, it's what I wanted, but uh, I didn't know it would kind of hop up on me this fast. But, you know, I'm going to take it in stride and, and keep working and improve it each week and hopefully uh, solidify a starting spot if I can. How encouraging was it for the defense to give up 62 rushing yards uh, today rather than the 200, 200 plus you gave up? I think it's just what we wanted to do. It's what we needed to do. It's, and uh, we knew we could do it, and we know we can do better than that. And uh, we're going to keep working, and that's what we're going to do. Did you get any advice from your dad? Uh, he's just uh, enjoying it. He's enjoying the whole experience. He's uh, just kind of living it again through me. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't even watch the game, uh, the game as like we used to on the couch. He's just, uh, just watching me. Slot receiver, he was running around, and, you know, just trailing him, you know, and I was just going, you know, make the tackle, but he ended up dropping the house right there. So, you know, that's all she wrote for me. She said, 50 pads, that's for a better phone call. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, just being blessed, that's what happens, you know, and thank God for that, so that's all I take. I, I can't even, I can't even take credit for any of turns. I've had phenomenal blocking with those guys. Um, we made some changes to our team from last year. We made some changes in more regulars on it. Yeah, and the guys, I mean, we just take it. I, I don't want to say take it more seriously, but after last year, I was it really hurt us. Uh, we realized what an asset. I mean, I mean, look at it tonight. We, we had a 60-yard return and we had a score on the next play. So those are big plays.